Hello, hello everyone. I am Father of Time, and this is another uh, sneak peek at some development I've been doing with a mod I've been working on for Minecraft called Dystopia. Um, this one is actually more leaning towards code experiment, um, and I'm just really fascinated with the results, so um, I kind of wanted to share this uh, with you guys. And um, I'll go ahead and just go in here so at least there's something to look at while I'm talking. But um, a flat world. <laughs> um, but basically, one of the things, this has got a little bit of information before I go in and show you uh, what I'm talking about. But um, basically, when in Minecraft, a block, um, as you can tell, it's just like a die. It has six sides, and it's made out of what are called vertices, which are eight points. And that's the dots, the corners that make up all the faces, which are these. So you have one, two, three, four, and then on the bottom, five, six, seven, eight. So this is an eight-point block. Um, and so basically what each face is called is a quad. It is just one side that consists of the four points. Now this is how everything in Minecraft is rendered. This is how they've set up their renderers to work. Um, you know, I decided to dig a little deeper and see exactly how it works, and it turns out that this is built off of a class called a tessellator, which tessellation is a, a rendering term, but I won't get into that. And when I really dug down a little bit deeper than that, I'd realized that all it is is a wrapper class around OpenGL. OpenGL is a programming language that's uh, it's like a video pipeline language, basically, that allows for rendering and specifically mostly 3D rendering. A lot of games are made out of it, etc., etc., including Minecraft. So, why do I mention all this? Well, the reason why is because a while back I was making my, and I still am, but making my own 3D game. And one of the things I came across was, uh, you know, just exactly all of this. Vertice faces, rendering, and all of that. And I learned how to make my own OBJ file loaders, which anybody who knows what an OBJ is, it's an object file, and that is what 3D models are rendered in, are saved as. Um, these are what you load and you basically make video games out of. Um, now, Minecraft doesn't do that. Minecraft uses these their own like base model class it's everything's done in boxes so that's why even the creatures like this his eyes are square his mouth square everything's square um this is parts because it's been uh you know coined as minecraft is the block game and i think they they've chosen to keep the design but originally i think it's mostly because uh, it's just a cheap, very easy design, and for a one-man programming team that Mahjong used to be, or originally was, it makes sense. So anyways, <clears throat> but they, that being the case, since it's OpenGL, just because they do it that way doesn't mean we have to do it that way. Uh, if we can basically remove that Tessellator class, which I've done so right here, we can make an object loader for Minecraft. So basically what this does is there's two classes here. Um, this one is just a class that has all the vertices, normals, and texture UV coordinates of the model, and then the face definitions of what all the faces are. So this is about a 9,000, or excuse me, 6,000 vertice object. And then you need a texture, just like anything else. So this is the texture we're going to use. And so now, if we go into Minecraft, thanks to this renderer, it, basically what it does is it goes through, reads all that data, loads it all accordingly into what's called the face, or uh, into a face file, which is a cla custom class I made, and then we create a collection of them. So, in the terms of Minecraft, say this it was one of these, there would be six instances of the face class, one for each side of this block. However, if we wanted to, we can go to, say, somewhere like uh, Turbo Squids, which is a great um, website. I highly recommend anybody who likes 3D model rendering or anything like that to please check it out if you don't know about it. And for instance, Toilet is one of the first things that we're going to do. I can type that in, and as you can see, there are just thousands of models that we, uh, we can use at our discretion. So if we type in on top of that OBJ, that gives us, limits it to the file format we want. Any of these we can load into Minecraft pretty awesome, right? So, to give you an idea, um, I have a, a co-worker of mine making models right now, but um, the difference is, is I kept our model uh, renderer using quad faces. So, um, 
I can't use triangulated faces because you can make any face out of either two triangles to make a square or just a, a quad. So that's what all these are made out of. Some are squares or quads, some are triangles, I don't know. It took me a while to find one that was all quads and simple just for testing purposes to make sure my lo loader was working. But moment of truth, if I go into here and I haven't bothered to do any of the other textures or anything, it's purely just the renderer that's working right now, but I put it down, boom! How do you like them apples? A 3D rendered object uh, in Minecraft. Um, so obviously th this isn't set up to the dimensions I want, this is somebody else's model, um, so it's not within the one by one space. I haven't gone into the details of the cube to make this like rendering box the size of it or anything. This is purely just proof of concept, but I thought this is pretty spiffy. The, the normals work, as you can see, the light is actually reflect or, uh, refracting off of it properly. It is an object in the game, I can be touch on it, I can break it. Again, those particles are because I haven't set up item renderers, just the block renderers and all that. But this is proof of concept. Any 3D model that we can find and think of, and or if we wanted it in Minecraft, it can be rendered. And one of the awesome things, too, that I was worried about is, again, eight vertices, 9,000 vertices. Yet, look at the rendering quality. You don't see any difference. It, it, it's as if it doesn't affect it whatsoever. Now, I'm sure, obviously, there's a point if we go way too high quality of a model that it'll be an issue. Um, I don't actually even want it to be this high. That This could be done in... I would say probably it's 300 max. So, um, it, you know, I, I have programs like Blender and stuff that I can start, you know, making my own models. But the simple fact is, is we can, and the nice thing is, like, the materials, all that we can do. So we could make, like, a crystal ball that the ball on top, like, reflected light off of it and actually looked like a crystal. You could see through it and would, like, morph objects and neat things like that. And I mentioned that because one of the objects I used to always love in Ultima Online was the singing ball. Um, it was a ball that when you approached it, just ran played random sound effects from the game. So I'm thinking about uh, adding that in, um, like one of these, a crystal ball into Minecraft and giving it to all the luminaries uh, as a thank you to their dedication to the servers. Um, but anyways, I digress. So yeah, that is just um, one new uh, addition to this mod that's coming out. So I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the sneak peek, and I'm going to send this guy into space for shits and giggles. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> wow, that was super loud. But I digress. Alright, thanks guys for watching. Uh, have a good day.